Hey, everybody. It's Conspiracy Time with Jim. So I don't want to go all political, right or left, but I do want to give you a little bit of background on what got me thinking about this. Uh, so my YouTube page, and yes, we're going to need alcohol for this. Mm. Sit back. And have a cold one with me. My YouTube page is filled with all kinds of political crap. And I see tons of shit on this uh, political, the political ramifications of the shipping crisis and how it's the fault of the pandemic or Evergreen or it's the crane operators and the longshoremen, which I apparently look like today, or it's not enough truck drivers or what. My question is, not who's to blame, who's fucked up, why, my question is, what's in the containers? We have hundreds of ships just sitting out there, sometimes waiting a month, two months, whatever, to get unloaded. What's in the containers? So let me postulate a conspiracy theory for you. Let's suppose you were a non-friendly country to America, and you wanted to, uh, you know, begin the process of tearing them down, maybe prelude to invasion, but you didn't want to fire a shot yet, right? You're not quite ready for that. You really want to damage the country, really cripple them without being obvious. You cripple their infrastructure. So let's imagine this case. How big is a container ship? So I looked this up. A container ship contains roughly 21,000 TEUs, 20 foot equivalent units, which means a 20 foot cargo trailer. Uh, of course, the trailers are, the containers are bigger, they, they divide it up. And Anyways, a, a ship could contain between 10 and 20,000 containers, 53 foot containers. There's some big shit floating around out there. And there's hundreds of these things. So we're talking 200, 300,000 or more containers, tractor trailers, 300,000 tractor trailers of goods stuck. So here's what you do. You take a container ship and you put a few containers on there that are stuff that's been ordered, that's critical infrastructure material, um, you know, parts for a, uh, a manufacturing company, shrink wrap, boxes, packing materials, ink, ink for your printer. What, those are the critical things that we want. So you put a few of those out, a couple hundred of those. The other 9,900 containers on the ship are rubber ducks. They're uh, welcome to Wyoming shot glasses, novelty t-shirts, right? All that crap, everything was made in China. Look around you. Do you see real shortages? Do you see real shortages? Think about this. Do you want a cell phone? Go buy a cell phone. Oh, you know, uh, we're going to have to wait a week on that model. Okay. There are some shortages right now. Uh, toilet paper, water, that's internal stuff. There's some shortages in food. That's internal. That's not coming from China. The stuff that is coming from China, your iPhones, you get iPhones all fucking day long. So if there's that much material trapped out in the ocean, but our shelves are still reasonably pretty full, something's going on. It's not the crane operators. You see, the crane operators are blaming the truck drivers. The truck drivers are blaming the crane operators. Uh, Joe Biden wants to open the ports 24-7 which is weird because truck drivers can only drive 16 hours a day. Look that up. <sighs> well, what if? What if you wanted to cripple a country? So you get some agents over here. They buy up some warehouse space. And they start ordering in shit. A lot of shit. In fact, they ordered in so much shit, you completely overwhelm the infrastructure of the country. It has gotten so bad, the post office itself now says, we have to slow down because we can't deliver it all. Where's this stuff going? Where is this stuff going? I'm parked here at Walmart. This is like my fifth Walmart this month. There's a few holes on the shelf. Not half a million containers worth of holes on the shelf. 
So here's what you do. You're an unfriendly country. You just start shipping stuff. You ship a lot of stuff. Oh my God, you ship a lot of stuff. Within that, you mix the stuff we actually ordered. And you have some, some friends over here who are ordering a little extra. You completely shut down the ability to move goods within the country. Because we have containers full of fucking rubber ducks. Or what the fuck ever. Now this is this is a three-part attack. Now, so you've got all of the ports full of inbound. They can't handle it all. That goes to a warehouse somewhere. Eventually, gets unloaded. Now there's an empty container. Guess what? They don't want the empties back. It's too costly to return the empties. <laughs> So now the empties are piling up. They're literally just dumping the empty empties on, like, side streets. Because there's nowhere to fucking put them anymore. And the third part of it is, you can make your economy look like it's absolutely fucking booming. Because look how much manufacturing we're shipping. Of course, nobody ordered it. Nobody wants it. We don't know what the fuck to do with it. But there it is. Look at our books. Give us more loans. And China's really in debt. More in debt than uh, the media will let you know about. They want to talk about our debt, which is horrible. Uh, you're going to destroy us. But what about China's debt? China owes a fuck ton of money. Anyways. So they're using the shipper crisis not only to cripple America's infrastructure, but to make their own books look better. So we can't even move critical goods in the country anymore. Because we're so busy dealing with this shipping crisis, and mixed in all of the containers are stuff we actually need, the other 99% of it is just fucking crap. The stuff nobody fucking wants, nobody knows what to do with, it's just sitting around. Now go try to buy a shipping container. Yeah, they'll, they'll actually want you to pay for it, but meanwhile they're just dumping them off on the side of the road. Literally. So... <laughs> Leave me a comment below. Is this an actual attack on America's infrastructure by sending us rubber ducks or novelty t-shirts or God fuck everything's fucking made in China, right? What's in the containers? Why is this country still able to function when there's half a million containers, half a million truckloads of crap that's just stuck? And yet we have everything we need. There are minor shortages here and there because the stuff we actually want is stuck in the middle of all the fucking crap. Leave me comments. I, I've not seen this point of view yet. I've seen a lot of, you know, economic analysis of why the shipping crisis and the pandemic and the, this administration and that administration did it. No. Straight up attack on America by a certain unfriendly country. Well, hope you guys had a little bit of fun. Uh, I've been working in the asphalt plant like fucking 13-hour shifts. Not a lot to think about. My mind kind of wanders. Hope you guys had a little bit of fun. Lots of fun more, lots of more fun, lots more, lots more fun videos coming. I have fucked tons of video that I don't even want to get started on. I'm out of here.